My labor mov movement leader that I have chosen for my speech is on Cesar Estrada Chavez. Early in his life, he was a migrant farm worker who worked in the fields of the family farm. After his father was in an accident, he did not want his mother working in the fields, so he decided to drop out of school after the eighth grade. Therefore, he would be able to help work on the farm and help his family out. Caesar comes from a family of many brothers and sisters, which all worked in the fields also. According to the United Farm Workers Association, Caesar Chavez was born March 31, 1927, in Yuma, Arizona. At the age of 12, Caesar and his family moved to California after losing the family farm. While Caesar was a person that wanted to always help someone, he was an important American labor leader and a civil rights activist. I'm going to inform you about Caesar's life and how he became founder of the National Farm Workers Association, also later known as United Farm Workers, uh, at the first, at first Caesar's family tried to save the land they were living on by clearing 80 acres in exchange for the deed of 40 acres, but the agreement was broken and sold to someone else. Caesar learned a valuable message of injustice because his family did not get what was agreed upon. In 1938, the family moved to California, but shortly moved back after a few months. Caesar thought the only way out of poverty was to work his way up and send his kids to college according to the United Farmers Association 2016. Caesar's fam family life was not his only struggle growing up. School was also a challenge for him. While attending school, which he did not like as a child, there were some of the following things that happened. Uh, he spoke Spanish and the teacher only spoke English. Caesar became, no, Caesar remembers being punished with a ruler. Some schools were isolated, he thought. He also thought he was a monkey in a cage. He felt schooling did not have anything to do with farm workers or immigrants. Caesar Chavez, at a very young age, learned to help people. Uh, his family didn't even have enough food for themselves, but his mother insisted he go find the homeless and hungry so his mother could cook a meal. He would also drive farmers to the hospital to see, see a doctor and he served as a United States Navy to fight for the country and protect the people of the United States. While learning these responsibility life lessons, he noticed that farm workers were treated poorly, but he continued to survive. While working in the fields in California, Caesar saw the un unsafe conditions, which were no bathrooms in the fields, no cleaning water, no cleaning water and poor pay. Things had changed after he met with Fred Roth, who worked for the company named the Community Service Organization, which also helped people. And they were taught how to taught people how to vote. The community leaders would help solve problems of voters, and they also taught the community leaders to respect voters. After leaving the community service organization to help the farm workers gain respect and dignity, the National Workers Association was started by Caesar. Uh, it was started in 1962, and it was to help the working conditions of the farm workers. There were many, di many different nationalities that joined Caesar, which were African American, White American, Mexican American, Mer Mexicans and men and women of all backgrounds. Growers that owned the farms had to respect the, the workers, which they had to have fresh drinking water, bathrooms in the fields, and fair pay of work, of a day's work. 
But Caesar was upset about this because uh, the growers were still not following what was to be expected. And the farmers did everything to stop the workers, but Caesar continued to improve the well-being of others. They did not they were not treating farm workers with respect. They even turned to violence. They wanted to bring respect, dignity, and justice to the poor. Fair treatment to the workers. Throughout the years, Caesar continued to devote his life to make an important place and to assist others. After accomplishing this, Caesar became an American hero.